Good morning. Today's little session is on caring. Does it come from the heart or the head? Can it be trained or is it part of behaviour and character? And it takes me back to last week when I was the speaker at the Chester Grosvenor Hotel. And my sat nav on my way there got me lost. Or should I say I got myself lost with the help of my sat nav. <laughs> Um, and I rang the hotel to say, I don't think I'm far away, but I just can't get to you somehow. And um, a young man said, don't worry, I'm going to get it on my Google Maps. We'll find out where we are. And between the two of us, we'll get you in. And I just had that sense of, I'm not a transaction. He actually cares. You know, there's a difference between somebody going through a process and there's a difference when you feel that somebody cares anyway I said to him well I can see the alchemist bar he said stay there I'll come and get you so 10 minutes later this young man with his waiter's outfit on and his coat came running towards my car and he said I'll walk alongside and um direct you where I go and I said no hop in <laughs> <clears throat> maybe his mum had told him not to get into cars with strangers so we get, we get in the car, he takes me directly to the hotel, although I took a wrong turn and went the wrong way up a one-way street. Thankfully, it was 11 o'clock at night, there's no traffic around. He unloaded all my car with another concierge um, specialist, and then he jumped back in the car with me to take me to the car park. I think his, his confidence as to me ever returning to the hotel from the car park was low. Um, he said, we'll be better off on the second floor. That's where the lift is. And so we parked there and <sighs> I got to reception, checked in. He handed me over and I said, what's your name and where do you work? And he said, um, I think he said his name was Will. But I feel terrible for not remembering it. And I work in the restaurant. It wasn't even his job. And I said to him, thank you so much for caring. He said, of course, of course. Um, and then, and then the receptionist checked me in, took me up to the room. I'm laughing because I'm pretty sure it wasn't because they thought this woman is never going to find her bed, even if she's in the bedroom. Um, but I'm laughing because it, should that be unusual? Should that level of care and service be unusual and newsworthy? Um, but I'm, I'm afraid it is. I'm afraid that sometimes people think that caring about a customer is an action point on a list and something that, well, I demonstrated care. I asked if I could help. But these, this wonderful team at the Chester Grosvenor demonstrated and I could feel that they actually cared. So <clears throat> I want to say thank you to Richard Grove for his amazing team at the Chester Grove, and for selecting people to work in his team, that their attitude and their characters first and then their skill is something they can be taught. And my message to you is, do you recruit skill and their attitude and their character as a bonus? Or do you recruit character and attitude and then skill can be taught later? I'll just leave that with you. Certainly my experience of the Chester Grosvenor Hotel, I will never forget. Have a lovely day.